Hello, and welcome to the Building with AppSheet series, where I discuss building apps with AppSheet and Google technologies. I'm Christian Schalk, a Google developer advocate, and in this episode, we'll provide an introduction on how to connect AppSheet to BigQuery. What is BigQuery? BigQuery is a petabyte scale, cost-effective cloud data warehouse technology that enables super fast SQL queries using the processing power of Google's cloud infrastructure. BigQuery enables easy storage of large amounts of data using common data transport such as CSV and so on. BigQuery also supports real-time upload streaming for immediate data analysis. To query data, BigQuery supports standard SQL, so anyone familiar with databases can easily query data. BigQuery also supports the standard database drivers such as ODBC, JDBC, and so on. BigQuery is also easily integrated with leading data visualization tools such as Data Studio, Tableau, and others. BigQuery serves data from two types of datasets, public and private. Public datasets allow anyone to freely fetch public data such as weather, finance, news, and so on. And private datasets can only be accessed by the dataset owner or to whom they explicitly share the data with. AppSheet provides direct access to BigQuery with its connector feature. It's important to note that AppSheet's access to BigQuery is read-only. And more importantly, the dataset fetch size is currently limited to 100,000 rows maximum. Before AppSheet can access a BigQuery dataset, you'll first need to prepare BigQuery a bit in advance. To do this, you'll need to locate a dataset to query from. It's easiest to start with a public dataset. Once you've found a dataset, you'll need to note its dataset ID for later. Next, you'll need to prepare a cloud project to use BigQuery by doing the following. First, create a service account to query data from as a client. Specify the role BigQuery job user for the account. And finally, download a JSON key for the service account as you'll need this for later in AppSheet. Here's how to prepare BigQuery for AppSheet. Okay, so here we are in the Google Cloud Platform console and I'm looking at my project AppSheet BigQuery. And as you can see in the resources down here, we have BigQuery and it's actually already enabled by default. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So now we're looking at BigQuery. And as you can see in the Explorer here, uh, we have this BigQuery public data uh, option here. So I can open that up and see, see all of the data sets that we can play with. And so I happen to know that there's some fun data associated with San Francisco. And as you can see here, we have some film locations. So let's take a look at that. I'll open that up. And there's the table that has our film locations. I can look at some of the details and as well as preview the data. So this is the data that we're gonna be um, using in our AppSheet app that we create. Okay, so in order to set up a connection, what I'll have to do actually is open up um, the data set itself. And I would need to take note of the data set ID and I'll add that later to the AppSheet connection. Uh, before continuing though, if you recall, I actually have to add a service account to this project. So I go down here to the IAM and admin option and I select service accounts. And uh, incidentally, I happen to have an existing service account that I created before, but I'll just step through the, the steps just to show you how it looks. So I'll create service account. I'll give it a name. So I'll just go something like BQ service. I could add a description if I wanted to. Uh, but I'll sit, hit create and continue. And then here we can just select a role BigQuery job user. So it's still there for my last usage. And I will click continue. Actually, I'll click done. And there we go. Now we have a, uh, a new um, service account here. I'm not done yet though, because I actually need to create a key. So let's click on manage keys. Then I go over here under add key. I select create a new key. I'll accept the default for JSON and click create. And that actually creates a text file and downloads it onto my local machine. And this is actually what it looks like. So this is essentially the uh, JSON uh, connection data. And I'm gonna be adding that to my connection over in AppSheet when I continue. And that's it. My BigQuery environment has now prepped and I can switch over to AppSheet. After setting up BigQuery, you'll switch over to AppSheet and set it up to use BigQuery. In the AppSheet My Account page, you'll create a new data source. Name the new data source and select Cloud Database as the data source type. Next, select BigQuery as the database type and add the BigQuery dataset ID that you located before, 
the Google Cloud project ID that you just prepped, and then paste the JSON contents of the service account key. Once entered, you'll click Test and Authorize. Let's switch to AppSheet now to set it up to use BigQuery. Okay, so here we are in AppSheet, and um, I'm going to create a new data source, and that's done under the My Account page. So I click on My Account, and then I click on New Data Source. And so this will be the data source that I'm going to create. I'll just say SF Films to keep it short. And so I'm giving it a name, SF Films, and I click on Cloud Database. And here's where I select the database type. And that's also where I would select the different uh, uh, set data set ID, cloud project ID, and so forth. Uh, now I happen to have an existing data source that I've already set up. Let me just walk back here and I'll select the uh, San Francisco filming locations and I'll switch back over to the form here where I have all the information. The only thing that I don't have that I need to actually enter in again is the uh, JSON service account key. Uh, so if you recall, I actually have that saved off in a text file here. So I would just add that and let's click test and authorize access. And that's it. So now we're good to go. We can actually create an application to connect to that data source. Once you've set up a BigQuery data source, building AppSheet apps on it is trivial. You'll simply create a new app and specify that you wish to use your own data. After naming your app, you'll click Choose Your Data. Finally, you'll select the BigQuery data source that you set up previously. And that's it. Let's switch back to AppSheet and build an app using our BigQuery data. Okay, so here we are back in AppSheet, and so I'm gonna create a new app. So I'll click Make a New App, and I'm gonna start with our own data. So our data will be the BigQuery data that we set up before. And let me just give it a name, SF Film Locations. And I'm gonna click Choose Your Data. So that's gonna be able to select the data from our data sources. And here's our SF Filming Locations data source that we set up before. So let's take a look at the tables. And there we go, we have our film locations table. So let's click that. Okay, so here's our app that we just created. Um, it's functional, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some updates. So let's click on the data tab here and pop open the table and let's look at the columns. And first off, as you can see, the years, they, they look kind of odd with the commas there. So I'm gonna change the release year from number to type text and that will remove the comma. And then I'm going to also, more importantly, change the locations column uh, to an address. And so once the address is added there, it will start putting maps and stuff inside of the app. So let's go ahead and click Save. And I'm going to go back over to the UX tab. And as you can see here, I have this option to add a map view for the film locations. So let's select that. And I'll just change that to map. But there we go. As you can see, we actually have data showing the um, different filming locations throughout San Francisco. So it's kind of fun. I, as you can see, I can select the different options here and start looking at the different movies and stuff that were filmed um, in San Francisco. So as you can see, it was uh, rather trivial once I've set up the data source connection to BigQuery to actually build or generate an app uh, that shows the BigQuery data inside of an app. This concludes the BigQuery and AppSheet episode. Stay tuned for more coverage of this important topic in future episodes. And for more info on AppSheet and Google Workspace, check out the links in the description below. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this series so you don't miss out. As always, thanks for watching.